So hi guys and welcome back. Well, so I have played with the idea of getting a 3D printer for a long time. In my earlier days I did a lot of work in 3D Studio Max and designing something which you can print out into a physical object has always had something magical about it for me. So up to a few weeks ago I've always told myself that I have already enough to do with my hobbies as they are and that I would maybe not use the 3D printer as much as I wanted because of lack of time. But the real main reason was that I had always thought that if I get one, I needed to get a good one, which costs a lot of money. So I always feared that I would maybe uh, regret spending a lot of money at it. Well, all that changed when a friend got a 3D printer. It was not one of the expensive ready-to-run machines, but rather one of those do-it-yourself printers. And you know I love do-it-yourself. <laughs> With a quiet large print area at a very low cost. So I waited until he got it and when I saw the print results he got out of it, my 3D printing story began. I ordered one myself for just 239 US dollars, including DHL Express shipping, straight from Asia. Wow. So, okay, I had also to pay around 40 US dollars in customs, but, but still, that's, that's a quite fantastic price and I wasn't sure at all if I would get this to work and if it would produce some, well, well acceptable quality. So, this is how it looked like when I got it. I can see it in the images. Everything was very well packaged and all the parts were there. So, we went straight to building it together with my friend. A big thanks to my buddy here, who helped me a lot. You know who you are. There are excellent build videos about this printer online, so I would probably also have accomplished the build quite easily by myself. But with the help of someone who already built one of these up, it was much faster. So thanks again. We will now jump straight into the time-lapse build video. After that, we will take a look at the very first prints, which I, which I got out of this printer. <laughs> and I will give you my initial conclusion uh, about it. So, well, please enjoy the time-lapse and uh, make sure to stay with us for the uh, prints and so on afterwards.
so here we are, I have a 3D printer. I went straight into printing of course and this was my, my first print and to be honest I was I was quite amazed by its quality because the printer was not calibrated or anything and that I think it's looking great. It was also a very fast print at about uh, 0.3 millimeters layer height. So the layer height is what is the resolution of these printers. This printer, which I have, can uh, supposedly uh, support down to 0.05 mm layer height. So 0.3 would be something like a fast print here. And it's still looking great, I think. Here are a few uh, more of my early prints, all printed again at a resolution of 0.3 mm. And, well, I'm amazed by them. And well, of course, I had also tried a finer resolution. So, so this print, which you can see here, uh, is at 0.1 millimeters, and one can clearly see the difference because at the back of this opal, you can no longer see the layers. So it's it's almost a very very smooth surface, and this is not even the best or the finest which this printer could achieve. So you can still go down to 0.05 millimeters, and would be even better. So that's amazing. Of course, these prints take longer when you are getting at a finer resolution, but well, it's worth it. Of course, uh, after the initial uh, test prints, I also tried one of my own ideas, which I already designed in SketchUp. So here you can see a sneak preview of that. And well, <laughs> there will be more soon in follow-up videos, of course, on this. So, well, I guess that, that <laughs> brings us straight to the conclusion of this initial review and, well, I guess you, you had, could have guessed it already, I say, wow, so uh, I always thought 3D printers with a sufficiently large print bed are expensive, but this one is cheap and gives, in my opinion, really awesome print results. So I'm really, really happy with it and you will s also see a bit more RC-related 3D printing on my channel from now on. So I will put the link to the printer right into the description, of course. This was only a very short first review of this printer, of course. If you have any questions, please ask them below in the comments. I will try to answer all of them. So I really hope you liked this review and if you did, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Please also comment below what you think. Many thanks for watching and well, I'm looking forward to see you next time.